This is my demonstration of how additive primary colors of light blend together to make all the different colors in the light spectrum and ultimately white light. So for my setup, what I've got here, I've got three lights. Each one has a different color light bulb in it. You can see there's red. The other two are blue and green. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off my light switch here so that my room is dark and make this easier to see. But what happens when you mix colors of light? If you put on red light, what you see is red because the red light is being reflected back to the eye. When you turn on green, you also see green, but in the middle, the two meet together and you make yellow. To the right, you also see orange and maybe a little bit more of a yellow green. If you were to turn off the red and add blue, in the middle, you get a cyan or a light blue color. If I turn off green and add red in the middle, I have this magenta purple color. And when you add green in, all three, you get the entire rainbow, the entire full color spectrum of visible light. And in the middle, which is a little difficult to see, you have where all three meet, you have white light. Now the reason this doesn't work with pigments is because unlike color where you are getting the full, the full um, ref reflection of the particular light wave with paint and pigment, you're actually, the, what's going on is a process called reflective, um, selective reflection where instead of the light actually bouncing back to your eye, what's happening is you're seeing a reflection of the light waves that are not being absorbed by this paper. So in this case, this red, you're seeing the, the white light is hitting the paper, the green and blue wavelengths are being absorbed, but the red is being reflected back. So when you overlap your colors, like your blue and your red, Instead of making that pretty magenta color, they make a dark purple. And when you add your green, instead of having that nice yellow and that pretty cyan, they just mix into a muddy brownish color and in the middle. It really looks almost black. So what is happening here is we're actually getting the selective reflection of the individual wavelengths coming back and this is a process um, that's actually called um, selective or subtractive color mixing and this is actually what happens in art instead of using the different colors of light you have the different colors of pigment and in, in pigment the primary colors are red yellow and blue and when you add them together you get the again the colors of the rainbow but when you mix all three you get black so that is my demonstration of additive primary colors in light and subtractive color in pigment.